Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I have a pick a card reading for love here today. This is going to be in regards to your person and what messages, what love messages do they want to share with you. Maybe you haven't heard from your person in a while. Maybe you're looking for, you know, messages from them directly in regards to what's on their heart, what's on their mind. Maybe there is something that your person, let's say, needs you to understand about the relationship, yet they won't share it, okay? Is there something they would like to say to you, but don't have the guts to say it, that kind of thing. So this is gonna give you some insight into your person. Maybe you'll find synchronistic messages here via this type of reading, but it's basically messages from your person to you, okay? Now, there's four stacks on the table. Let's say in the event that you have more than one person in mind, Feel free to pick more than one stack, okay? Pick a stack for each person you're thinking about. That's a possibility, okay? It can happen. So feel free to pick more than one stack if you feel led to, okay? These are general readings, so they're not gonna apply to everybody watching. In the event that this particular pick a card does not connect for you, I have a whole playlist of pick a card readings that you can uh, peruse, okay? This is a love reading, so roles can be reversed. There might be some instances where part of the reading resonates more for you. Part of the reading might also resonate more for the other person. They are timeless as well. So it's whenever the universe nudges you to watch, that is going to be the appropriate time for you, okay? I am going to be incorporating something new today. I have a whole bag full of messages, okay? And I'm going to pull from this bag, all right, to get specific insight for you from your person, okay? So we will incorporate that later. And this bag is really cool. It has the magician on it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to clean this up as far as moving two, three, four out the way. All right. And for those of you who have been asking uh, for personal reading information, all my information is in the description box below. If you want to book a personal reading with me, please uh, check that out and book a reading with me on Etsy, okay? So, stack number one, all right? I'm going to put your little number over here. I'm going to save this card for last. <laughs> Let's see what we have. All right. It says, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We have the singer of transfiguration from the Brian Froud Fairies Oracle. We have hope. Okay, the six of wands. That's awesome. The page of cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Seven of Cups, the Thought card, and it says Ascending, Transcending Obstacles, Learning, Expansion, New Phase, Preparing for Union. Okay, we have a number 11 here, so that might mean something to you. Okay, could be a twin flame situation with that number 11. But I feel like your person, okay, with this card here and the Singer of uh, Transfiguration, it speaks of, this card here speaks of triumph, basically over adversity, okay? And it's very reminiscent of the Six of Wands, okay? So this speaks of triumph over adversity <clears throat> and something being worth the fight, okay? Something worth fighting for. So it's basically success after a time of struggle, all right? And then like, um, it, it can also speak of journeying into a new phase or embracing a new phase, right? So I'm looking at this like, I feel like the relationship between you and your person, all right, is evolving in some way. You're overcoming some obstacles and there is a preparation for union here, okay? So I feel like your person wants to reunite with you. Your person, I think, wants you to know that it's safe for you to love them and they feel safe loving you. <clears throat> I think they want to overcome the obstacles with you, okay? Because this is about transcendence, trans, uh, transformation, positive changes. 
So it looks like your person is thinking positively about you and the connection. They are hoping to heal the obstacles and overcome them, all right? They want to see success with you. They want to achieve better things with you with the Six of Wands, okay? This is also triumph over adversity because if you consider how the soldier returns from war in this card, okay? Been through a difficult situation but now is on top of the world, okay? Sitting on top of, of his horse. So it's like they are looking at you, at the situation with new eyes, okay, is what I'm getting. They are hopeful, okay? This is about wishes and dreams come true. And being positive towards those things. Wanting to manifest something with you. And setting intentions as well. Like keeping your mindset positive towards those intentions, okay? So it's almost like they have, they have intentions to overcome uh, any obstacles or situations with, you know, that they had difficulty in before with you, it's almost like they, they want to heal it. That's, that's what I'm hearing from this. They want to heal it. They want to overcome it. They want to achieve something with you again. All right. They want to reach out. I'm hearing with the page of cups because the page, the pages are all about delivering messages, right? So this page in particular is going to, you know, put his reach out, you know, he's going to literally reach out with his hand and offer his cup. All right, and they're going to communicate. I feel like your person wants to tell you that they they want to reach out to you if they haven't already. They want to reach out to you or they're going to make the effort towards communication with you. Maybe um, I'm hearing from the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is talking to me like, I want. it's almost like I want to talk to you. I want to make the effort. I want to show you that, I, that I'm serious. Please take my cup of love. I'm hoping for your forgiveness. Okay, that's what I'm getting from the Page of Cups. I'm hoping that you'll take this cup from me. Um, that you would take the, the love that I'm offering, this, this peace offering, okay? I want to heal things with you. I want to fix things with you. I'm ready to move past these things with the Six of Wands. I have hope for the future here with this card. I see us being successful, okay? With this energy here and the Six of Wands as well. My heart is open. Okay. I hope yours is open to me. I feel safe loving you is also what I'm hearing. The Seven of Cups. I think your person may be a little overwhelmed in regards to their feelings for you. All right. This can, this can talk about being emotionally overwhelmed. Cups are about emotions. And I'm also getting from this, the Six of Wands with the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups. It's almost like, I think your person is fantasizing, okay, about you. They're in their feelings right now about you. Because they want to overcome things. They want to reach out. They want to tell you how they feel. They're hoping that you'll accept their cup of love. All right. I'm, I'm hearing from this that they might be afraid you might have other options. Okay. The hope card is about wishes and dreams become manifest, okay? Setting good intentions, hoping towards, you know, things to come, good things to come. So I think your person is hoping for the best with you, okay? They want to win your heart. And they're coming in on their horse co with confidence, or they're going to try to, you know, put on a brave face is what I'm hearing with the Six of Wands and the Page of Cups to offer this love. And they're hoping that you don't have other options, okay? Okay? I feel like it's not easy for them with this Seven of Cups. They might be emotionally overwhelmed, but they know they have to put their big girl pants or big boy pants on and do it and reach out, okay, and send a message or communicate their feelings. Because I think if they don't, their feelings are overwhelming them right now, okay? And they have, it's almost like the Page of Cups wants to get it off their chest. And he has headphones on, so I'm wondering if they're reminiscing about you through music, okay? They're thinking a lot about you. They're putting a lot of thought into this. Like I said, they're emotionally overwhelmed. But they know if they're going to heal this, if they're going to fix the situation, if they're going to overcome obstacles with you and move into a phase of successful, successful, says union, okay? They have to do it. 
Okay, they have to they have to make a move. They have to offer the love. They put a lot of thought into it. They're trying to think about what to say. All right, they have a lot on their mind about you. I think they're reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you. They're playing music, thinking about you as well. <clears throat> but they know they have to overcome some things. All right. And finally do this. All right. So let's grab, let's grab some specific messages. Okay. What does number one's person want to say to them directly? Okay. All right. There's one that, that fell out. Second, they want a second chance. Okay. Now I can't see these. Okay. I'm just pulling them out. Oh, your person might be Aquarius. You might be an Aquarius. Sanctuary. Okay, now isn't that really cool? Because technically, sanctuary and safe. Okay, isn't sanctuary a safe a safe place, right? So I feel like they see you as a safe, like safe uh, place. Like um, your home, like home is your haven, right? It's your safe place. It's where you feel comfort. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my throat here. It's a little itchy today. <laughs> All right, let's grab one more. Solitude. Okay, so your person, I don't know why this is bringing me back to the thought card. Okay, they might have taken a time out. All right. They might have removed themselves from you at one time or they might right now be flying solo. They've taken their moment out in sanctuary, okay, in solitude to reflect on what happened and what went down. Grab one more or two more. Sweet nothings. It's not true. Oh, okay. So I wonder if at any time maybe there were some things said or said to you. Okay, and maybe you believe them and maybe that's what the obstacles were. But whatever it is that you heard I'm hearing from this isn't true about them. Okay, maybe you felt at one time they were, they were whispering sweet nothings in your ear and didn't mean what they said. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this. Okay, maybe you heard rumors about them and they're saying right now it's not true. Okay, maybe that's what the obstacle is. All right, let's grab one more. Look at that. You took me by surprise. All right, now what's crazy about that is the Page of Cups. All right, sometimes um, the Page of Cups is described as having a cup with the little fish that pops out of the cup and takes the person by surprise. You know, like a surprise message sometimes. I have a feeling that sweet nothings is talking about you felt like they were just whispering sweet nothings to you and didn't mean what they said. And they're saying it's not true. You took them by surprise, your person. You took your person by surprise. Okay, it's almost like they weren't, it's almost like they didn't, they didn't think they were going to, fall for you the way that they did all right or you might have you might have said something or did something also that took them by surprise maybe the love that they have for you took them by surprise i give up oh no maybe they were on the verge of giving up i feel like i want to take one more <laughs> maybe they don't want to give up okay that's also what i'm getting Oh, did you give them an ultimatum perhaps? Okay, it is a possibility. You might have given them an ultimatum. Maybe they were on the verge of giving up or feeling like they gave up or they wanted to give up. Okay? But they're asking for a second chance. In some way, they're asking for a second chance or they want a second chance or hoping, I feel like you didn't give up on them. Again, your person might be an Aquarius. Uh, maybe they see, you know, you as... as um, as safe to love we have the solitude 
in the sanctuary. I feel like these two cards were them removing themselves, thinking about the situation. But I feel like, honestly, I'm feeling like this is a misunderstanding and they're looking to fix it, okay? They're looking to fix it. That's why the Seven of Cups is here and it comes off as feeling confused, okay? So I like how these little, um, little phrases played in. I'm pretty sure some of them will apply, not all of them will. But let me know in the comment section, okay? How it worked out for you. All right, so... This is your final oracle. It says, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like your person really wants to come back together with you. Okay? They want to heal the situation. They have hopes of a reconciliation. They want a second chance. They're, they don't want to give up. Or they, at one time, wanted to give up. But it looks like somebody wants to keep on fighting for you. Okay, they want to transcend the obstacles with you, as we see it here, and they're looking for um, a new phase with you. Okay, and they're preparing for union. So stack number one, this is your reading. I hope you got the messages that you feel you needed from this. Um, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to move on to stack number two. All right, stack number two. I'm going to put your number over here. We're going to save this for last. Okay. Now, let's see what your person wants to say to you, okay? What love messages do they have for you? This is Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. We have, I never know how to say this, okay? But it's, I think it's gotcha. G-A-W-T-C-H-A. -A. Okay, that's from the Brian Fair, Fairy, no, I'm sorry. Brian F Froud Fairy Oracle. Um, then we have... Lethargy from the Dreaming in Color Oracle. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Chariot could be Cancer. Okay, that could be you. That could be the other person. We have the Queen of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Pope card or Sacerdote. Um, this is about faith. Okay, vows. It says talking interested conversing more a, a wait an awaited message arrives a text a call an email hovering maybe stalking okay online stalking possibly so i'm looking at the honeymoon and i'm looking at the gotcha and honestly what i'm feeling from these two cards because this is like the total opposite of this all right the gotcha card is about um, things that are sudden, okay? Like a rude awakening. Think of your tower, okay? Think of your tower energy. How that's like a sudden shock to the system. Like there's unexpected situations and events that occur, all right? And kind of throw things out of whack, all right? Some kind of breakdown, right? In order to have a breakthrough. It could be a breakdown of structure, a breakdown of limitations, of anything that would hold you back, okay? It causes like a momentary, um, it's like a momentary disorientation, all right, until the smoke settles, all right, throws your whole situation out of whack. I feel like you guys were on a roll, like things were going good, and then something happened to kind of shake things up for you two, okay? And it took you by surprise. All right, and it's like, I'm hearing there's been like a lull ever since. Like things were going so well, and then out of nowhere, it's like, what the hell happened? All right, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Part of me is looking at this like, you're still trying to figure out what happened. Maybe that's why you're watching this video, okay? And the lethargy... Is, is about uh, delays and, and not making progress, things not having, um, how would you say, things not moving forward, okay? There's no action here. That's why I'm feeling like the lull, okay? The momentary setback, like where is this going now? So something unexpected happened, maybe some news came in that was unexpected that you weren't anticipating, something changed 
in the relationship you were on a on a roll with this person and then out of nowhere something happened and it changed the dynamic and ever since that happened it's kind of like trying to get your footing again with this lethargy it's been i'm almost feeling like an uphill climb between you and your person all right there's a feeling of like no progress um maybe you don't feel that your person's making the effort or as much effort okay that's what that's about. But I feel, like I said, this is a momentary setback between you and your person. And I think they want you to know that. Because here comes the Ace of Pentacles and it's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get on my feet again. All right? I gotta land back on my feet again after this shakeup. I have to do something... Because the, the relationship, if I don't act soon, this is what your person is thinking. Like, if I don't act soon, this relationship is going to stagnate. It's not going to go anywhere between us, right? And I want my happiness back with my person, all right? That's what I'm feeling from this. Like, they want that back. They want that honeymoon back with you. Um, there was some kind of unforeseen circumstances, and it's been like a setback ever since. But it's like here the universe is coming in and I'm feeling this ace of pentacles like an intervention, okay? Like the universe is coming in to kind of um, give back what was taken away, all right? That's what I'm getting from this. Because this is a brand new beginning, all the aces are. And this particular one is like a blessing from the universe when you least expect it, okay? And I think the ball is going to get rolling again with this chariot because the chariot's all about movement forward. So I feel like your person is going to try to, I'm hearing mend the fences. Okay. They know something went down over here with this gotcha card. They know it. They acknowledge that. And they know that they've, I'm hearing they've been lazy towards the connection. Okay, and with that lethargy, like they were lazy with the connection. But part of me is hearing that they're looking, they're looking to charge forward with you and offer you something with that ace of oysters or ace of pentacles. Okay. They're going, they're coming towards you with this chariot. Full steam ahead. I, I feel like they've broken free from this stagnant energy that they were in or this non-action energy. Um, I feel like they want this back. They want this bliss. They want this honeymoon time with you again. Okay. And they're charging forward with this chariot card. Um, I also feel like the chariot is like, you know, it's all about harnessing your energies, finding balance and, and also finding common ground. Okay. You can find balance within yourself and charge full steam ahead. And then this is also about two opposing forces, finding common ground. So I feel like they want to find the common ground with you and offer this new new fresh start with you this is about potential and possibility and the places that it can go all right so i feel like they see they see um that they need to take action they need to take action towards you or they want to take action towards you because i feel like if they don't look these guys are on a train i feel like they're gonna they're feeling like they're gonna miss the train okay like that ship is gonna sail if they don't do something and soon in regards to you all right here is the queen of swords i'm also feeling like they might be afraid um of getting rejected with this card because the queen of swords she always stands in her truth they are not gender specific by the way so this could be you know male female female energy uh being very stern okay and um maybe giving a little bit of the cold shoulder the reason for the Queen of Swords being the way that she is is because a lot of times she's been hurt in the past and she's protecting her heart because she does put the sword in front of her chest. And she's always very true to herself. So I feel like your person knows, <laughs> your person knows that it's not going to be easy to get to your heart. But it's not stopping them from trying with the chariot. They still want to offer something to you with this Ace of, of uh, Pentacles. All right. They want forward movement with you. And even though you might come off as a little icy and disinterested, 
okay? It's not going to stop them from trying. All right, this is about promises and vows and having faith, okay? So I do feel like they, they're they hoping and they have faith that they can mend this with you. All right, um, I feel like they promised themselves that they would at least try. This is what I'm getting from this card. They are interested in you. They want to talk to you. Like I said, they want to offer something. They want to um, have that conversation is what I'm getting. And this is about hovering, right? Social media may be hovering because she's holding her little laptop, right? So I could easily see this as your person sees you online and they're like, I better do something quick. Or it might be too late. Okay. So I think they want you to know that they are going, they're going to try. That they're working up, I'm hearing working up the courage. I'm hearing also they're putting themselves back together again. Okay, because they had a shake up, something happened to disturb them in some way. And knock them off course. They're trying to get back on their feet. This is, you know, this is about falling down in order to fall into place. Okay. That's what this energy is. So I feel like they fell down. They went through some things and it shook them off course. They're trying to get back on their feet. And they know that whatever they were experiencing in their life, okay, in their environment, put a hindrance on the flow and the way that the relationship was going. And it caused some setbacks between you and them. Now they want to, you know, try to get back to where it was. And they're afraid that it might be too late. They're afraid you might have gone icy on them, okay? So let's grab some messages here. Like messages directly from them. What, what do they want to say? Oh, Maybe they have addictions. Maybe that's what this um, this tower energy, like, you know, of the gotcha is all about. You know, they had a shakeup, a breakdown in some way, okay? That could be it. Not all of them, uh, not all of these are going to apply, I'm sure, but let's see what else. Oh, didn't I say that they, <laughs> they might be afraid it's too late? That you might already be taken? Okay, I have a feeling that this was a new relationship that was trying to take off and then something happened where it just didn't evolve the way it could have, okay? There was some kind of stagnation there that happened or something went down and it just disrupted the relationship and the progress that it was making, okay? Oh, oh, all right. I think this might go back to this. If someone is battling a substance abuse situation... Look what this says. You may not want me this way. All right. So again, the fear of rejection. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Reminded constantly. So they're reminded constantly of you. Or maybe how they failed. Or maybe reminded of, of everything that went wrong. The universe has a plan. Look at that. Maybe they're hoping for the best. They're, they're trusting that the universe has a greater plan in mind for you two. Connection. All right. So they definitely feel a strong connection to you. And maybe that's why they're trying to make their, their way back to you. Okay. They haven't been able to forget the connection. Okay. They're reminded constantly of the connection. I think that there was some serious issues going on in their world, all right? And they had to take care of it with this card, all right? They had to get back on their feet somehow. Because I feel like they didn't want to approach you until it was, I guess, straightened out, all right? They were afraid you wouldn't want them under such circumstances. Okay, I am going to grab one more. 
Look at that. <laughs> a phone call. An awaited message arrives. Okay, so you're going to get a phone call from your person. They want to they want to offer a new start with you, okay? They're hoping that you didn't give up on them in some way or that maybe you haven't forgotten them, that maybe you're not already taken, okay? So let's find out what your final oracle says. Look at that. Only time will tell. All right, so it's just a matter of time is also what I'm getting from this, that your person reaches out to you and tries to um, pick up where you guys left off is what I'm hearing, okay? So stack number two, this is your reading. I hope you like the little messages here and that they made some connection for you. Um, if you feel it has, please do let me know in the comment section down below because I love hearing from everybody. I'm going to clean up uh, your pile here and then I'm going to get on to stack number three. Stack number three. I'm going to put your number over here. Okay. I'm going to save this card for last. That's your final oracle card. Let's see what messages there are from your specific person retreat it's time to disconnect from the world we have the friends card this is from the brian froud fairy oracle that's a mouthful by the way but the artwork is just beautiful um we have blindness okay the tower the four of swords the Eight of Wands, the Widow, and we have Photograph. It says, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Okay, so the Friends card, I'm, I need to kind of explain this first because there's like, you know, it's, it's a different kind of oracle. Um, the Friends card is all about, you know, support and friendship, finding help when needed. Okay, um, it is also cooperative energy and it can sometimes talk about like give and take, reciprocation, okay? Um, and oftentimes, more often than not, it'll show up when it's talking about somebody who needs you but is afraid to say so, okay? They won't tell you that they need you in some way. Now, I feel like with this retreat card, And this friends card, I'm getting the vibe that your person is keeping their distance from you, okay? They need you. I think they're needing you in silence. They're not telling you that they need you. Okay, they're, they're keeping that from you in some way. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting from these two cards. They, it's almost like they don't have the courage to tell you that they need you, that they miss you, that they want you around. All right, that they wish they that they had your um your companionship. All right, could be a friend, could be a lover. You know, it doesn't always have to be romantic. You have the blindness card. This is the dreaming in color oracle, by the way. Um, this was donated to the channel. This card it talks about um shutting the world out, okay, or what is it that um uh, willfully blind okay being willfully blind to things all right or choosing to be unaware <laughs> sometimes all right and love is blind the need to open um one's eyes okay it's almost like your person doesn't want to admit that they need you okay they don't want to open their eyes or they don't want to make themselves aware it's like they're also hiding themselves from the connection is what i'm getting from this okay it's almost like your person's not awake yet but the tower comes in and says oop they're gonna get a rude awakening okay i feel like your person has kept distance from you in some way i feel like they're denying something about you and the connection they're like i said willfully blind they're, they're choosing to you know have a blind eye towards the situation I'm, I'm feeling denial from this um they need you but they won't admit that they need you but i feel like they've had a rude awakening i think that they've woken up to the connection 
maybe they maybe the blindfold is finally off with this tower and this blindness card and that's why they've retreated okay because they got their their shock to the system they it's almost like the universe woke them up to the connection i feel like you're not just friends they see that now it's much more it's much deeper than just a friendship okay they need you more than they would um like to admit the tower is that breakdown to have a breakthrough right the universe steps in and delivers a message all right loud and clear and shakes shakes you up so you can see what you couldn't see before i feel like they're they were once blind or they chose to be blind to the connection or chose to deny the connection but then i feel like the universe with this tower is saying recently that something stepped in to show them who you are what you are what the connection is with that tower they have to face i'm hearing they have to they they've had recently to face the music i'm so sorry i'm trying to get comfortable in my chair <laughs> Um, they've recently had to face the music, all right? And I don't think it was pretty for them. Something happened to reveal something to them. They weren't ready for it. It helped wake them up or remove the blindfold. And that's why they're retreating. They took a step back. All right, here's the retreat. And we also have the Four of Swords, which is, you know, removing yourself, stepping back from a situation, needing time to heal. Maybe, you know, the tower energy shook up their world. Something happened, divine intervention happened, and boom, gave them a huge wake-up call. And it's like, whoa. You know, now the Four of Swords is like, okay, I need to, I need to get my head on straight. I need to figure this out. I need to meditate on this. All right, I feel like your person has been going through it. They need help or they they want your support. It's almost like they want your shoulder to to lean on, but they don't have like for whatever reason, they don't have the courage to ask for it. So, I don't know if your person is just not I'm hearing not making contact. Maybe they're healing from this. Okay. I don't know if this is going to apply to everybody, but maybe your person had a dark night of the soul. And I'm getting that from the tower and the four of swords. Okay. Something happened to rip the blindfold off with this blindness card in the tower. They need you more than ever now, but they would never admit it out loud. So they retreat, they crawl under their rock. Okay, they crawl under the rock because they don't know how to deal. Okay, something took them by surprise. It could have been some form of communication, maybe that shook up things for them, possibly. Okay, maybe they saw something. Maybe they're going, they went somewhere. Maybe they moved, you know, and it just changed things for them in a really disruptive way. But the Eight of Wands is all about, you know, movement, speed, action, phone calls, texts, emails. I feel like your person, they got their wake-up call. I think they're, they've woken up to this connection. They needed time with that four of swords to meditate on it. They needed to remove themselves in order to figure it out in their own mind and heart. Okay. Part of me. <laughs> yeah. Part of me is saying with this eight of wands and this. They are looking at your old emails or text conversations. Okay. Okay. I feel like they're going back through your old conversations with this. Like I said, this is phone calls, emails, texts, communication. They are looking back at all of the conversations. 
that you guys had. And it's like at that time when you guys were conversing that way, it wasn't clicking for them. But as they go back and look at your photos, they look at your conversations, they realize how much they miss you, they, they realize how they misunderstood half of the things that you guys said to each other. It's almost like, okay, I'm talking, it's almost like, uh, how do I, how do I explain this? It's almost like you guys weren't speaking the same language. All right. Lost in translation. Like there was a lot of things in your texts and phone calls that were lost in translation with this eight of wands. And they're going back and looking at everything now. They're reminiscing over all of that that was shared and what was said. And they're realizing, oh my gosh, how did I miss that? Okay? That's where the rude awakening has come in from with this tower. They're like, oh my gosh. The realization, the blindfold was off. Like they were blind to, to the connection. They were blind to the love. They were blind to what you were trying to say to them. Um, they weren't hearing you. They were listening, but they weren't hearing you, okay? There's a difference. And they realize more than ever how much they miss you, that they need you more than ever, but it's almost like they're too damn stubborn to come out and say, hey, I messed up, or why didn't I see that before? All right, and then you have the widow energy. This is about somebody who can't let go. They can't move forward. They can't move on. Okay, so that could be you, that could be them, but I'm looking at this like your person is struggling to move forward because they're still missing you, they're still looking at your photos, they're looking at your old conversations, okay? They may want to reach out to you, maybe they're struggling with how to do so, okay? They can't move past it in some way, all right? Your person separated themselves and it's only in that separation do they realize what they lost it's only in that separation do they understand is what i'm getting so i'm gonna pull no i'm gonna pull from your from this bag here okay because i want messages directly from them right okay i think i have one they have doubts or they had doubts about you before. This is what I'm getting, okay? Love is blind. Whoa, how the hell? Okay, wait a minute here. How is that even possible? <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy cow. They were blind. I feel like they were blind to the connection before, okay? They weren't seeing things clearly. Maybe love was blind or you were looking at them with rose-colored glasses as well, okay? But there were some things I feel in the connection that they were blind to. They had doubts about the connection before. Look, I look, I there's no way I can see what's in this bag. This thing is so jam-packed, okay? Look at that. So it's kind of cool that I pulled that. There's no way I would have known how to do that. Um, tired of fighting. Okay, that would explain why the Four of Swords is here. Okay, so they're tired of fighting, maybe tired of fighting the connection. Okay? Maybe they're tired of fighting their feelings for you. They are tired. That would explain why the Retreat and the Four of Swords is here. This is amazing. All right, let's see what else we have. I'm glad I waited to the end to pull these because I was tempted to pull them before I even pulled, you know, pulled over the cards. But let's see what else we have. Bitter. So are you feeling bitter? Maybe. Or are they feeling bitter? All right. Maybe something happened with this tower. That left a bitter taste in their mouth, okay? And they've been trying to get over it ever since. Maybe some things, you know, some things were said. Maybe that's why they removed themselves.
Pisces. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. Water sign energy, okay? That could be you. That could be them, though. <gasps> They're ashamed. Okay, your person is feeling sh ashamed right now. Again, it's almost like this feeling of, you know, why didn't I see that sooner? How did I not realize this before? That is basically what I'm getting from this. The, I feel like your person is afraid that you might resent them with that bitter energy. Okay, they're tired of fighting, maybe fighting themselves, fighting the connection. All right, they had their doubts before, but it's almost like doubts, the doubts are um, being cleared away with that tower. Let's grab one more. Oh my gosh. I look at your pictures. Okay. What is going on here? Now I'm a little freaked out. I, I, I did this whole bag. I did this entire bag this morning. And I was like, I hope this works. Uh, well, it's working. <laughs> it's working. All right, one more, one more, because this is kind of exciting. I fantasize about you. Your person is in stitches, okay? In stitches. They look at your pictures and they're fantasizing about you. I look at your pictures. I fantasize about you. All right? Incredible. Forgive my messy handwriting. Okay, so let's, let's pull over, let's pull over your final oracle. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Wait a minute here. Tired of fighting. Okay, maybe you have some disagreements. Maybe that's, maybe that's what the tower's all about. Maybe you had a fight. Okay, maybe you had an argument with your person. Like maybe that's what the tower was all about. You know, it all came crashing down after that last spat, okay? But it says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So there's definitely some need for mutual understanding here, okay? Maybe there's a need to connect and talk about it with that Eight of Wands as well. So, sack number three. This is your reading. <laughs> I'm very impressed with how, with how this worked out. Um, so let me know what you think, okay, in the comment section down below. I'm curious how this connects with you guys. So sending much love. I'm going to clean your stack up, and then I'm going to move on to stack number four. Okay, stack number four. There you go. I'm going to save this one for last. That's your final oracle card. I will incorporate these little messages into the reading after I get all the cards on the table. But let's see what messages your person has for you. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. We have the Bodacious Bodak. This is from the Brian Froud Fairy Oracle. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't get that one tongue-tied because it's a mouthful. <laughs> then... We have Duality from the Dreaming in Color Oracle that was donated to the channel. Thank you. And then we have the Devil Energy. Could be a Capricorn, okay, that you're dealing with. That could be you. That could be the other person. We also have a King of Wands. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Again, could be you. Could be the other person. We have an Ace of Pentacles. We have the Death card. And I know this isn't a tarot, but whenever I see the Death card in any Oracle deck, I think of Scorpio Energy. Because that's a possibility too. We have the letter. And it says key with a heart. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. All right. So I feel like this is going to be. This is going to be interesting. First of all, you got you got two of these that fell out for you. So let's start with these two cards first okay because they're kind of heavy hitters all right so i have a feeling this person is your soulmate all right i feel like they know it but with this energy here i feel like somebody could be sabotaging the connection between you and your person 
Bodacious Bodak in this oracle is all about somebody meddling, messing, you know, with your business, getting in your business, tampering with things that shouldn't be tampered with. His energy creates confusion and disorder. And a lot of times it speaks of somebody who's being a troublemaker. Okay. And they may, this person, whoever is getting in the way of you and your connection is just making a mess of things basically. Okay. Whoever this is, and I feel like, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but it could be a third party that is sabotaging the connection. Okay. And if a karmic, especially with this, um, with this devil energy. Okay. And if not, it's maybe your person sabotaging the connection in some way with some kind of action that they've done. Okay. Maybe they self-sabotage the connection in some way. Um, there are oftentimes this card can come in and say that, you know, a person is, is meddling, thinking they're helping. Okay. They mean well, but they're just making a damn mess of things. Okay. So that could be your person. That could be somebody else altogether, but somebody's trying to mess with this connection or somebody has done something to affect the connection in a, in a negative sense. Okay. So let me get the other cards, all right, because this duality is very much in line with the devil, all right? This card in, in this oracle, all right, talks about opposing forces, and we kind of have that here as well, like things that are not good for you, you know? Something is unwell I'm getting from the devil card in this connection, and it could be this, this meddling energy or the sabotaging energy, okay? But with this card, there's an indecision here, okay? Uh, sometimes it could talk about um, not being fully honest. Somebody's not being f completely honest with you. Maybe that dishonesty is what's sabotaging the connection, okay? This is definitely your soulmate, but it has its issues, okay? The relationship has its issues. This duality... It, it, it can sometimes be like a two of swords energy where there's indecision, okay? There's like a juggling and you can't decide. Or I'm going to do one thing, but I'm going to say another. I'm going to say one thing, but do the opposite of that. Do you see what I mean? And that that's where you can't trust somebody's actions with this bodacious bodak, okay? You really can't. Because it's like, how can I trust what you say when you go and do the opposite of what you say you're going to do? So it could be... That your person does this, okay? They do exactly that. They say one thing but do another. Like, how good is your word if I can't trust your word, right? Your actions don't reflect your words. In other words, that's what I'm getting. So, I feel like your person knows that they messed up, okay? In some way. They see their... If it's not a, an outsider, then they see how they have not been consistent with this duality card. The devil is showing me that there are some blockages, there are some hindrances, okay? That really do get in the way of this soulmate connection. Could be, you know, definitely could be... Um, Something material could be an addiction, could be possessive behavior, uh, pa old patternings, okay, that just red flags, okay, is what I'm also hearing, red flags. There could be some red flags in the relationship. There could be some things that really constantly get in the way, and it's like your person might say they're not going to do it again, but then it ends up, you know, they end up doing it again, okay? Okay. The King of Wands energy, like, it's super passionate, okay? I think your person is, is um, there's this definite, there's sexual chemistry here with these two cards, especially. Okay. Um, this card here, I feel like your person, your person, it's almost like this is your person. He's looking at the connection. Or that might be you and you might be looking at the connection in that way. Like there's these karmic ties, there's these these bonds that you, or entanglements in some way. You feel strongly connected to this person sexually. 
Um, you might feel some heavy soul ties there. Okay, the passion's there, though. The sexual chemistry's on point. I can see it with these two cards. Um, but there's no consistency, I feel, coming from, from what I'm seeing right here. Like, it's almost like you want to believe your person, but they don't really demonstrate that they can be trustworthy sometimes. Or there could be somebody altogether who gets in the way of your connection. They could be self -sab or they could be sabotaging the connection with you and your person. Maybe uh, there's a third party meddling and trying to seduce your person. Okay, that's a possibility too. You have the Ace of Pentacles. And it's like, why am I hearing opportunity lost? Okay, I think I'm getting it from these two cards. Okay, somebody messed up. Okay, I'm just going to put it plain and simple. Someone messed up. Someone wasn't consistent. Somebody let let their um, self get carried away. Maybe somebody wasn't also was not respecting the boundaries. So I think your person maybe wasn't respecting boundaries in some way. All right, they may be your soulmate, but they have they have some things to work out. Like they really need to fix some things. They need to work on themselves is what I'm getting. I'm feeling that they they missed an opportunity with you. I know this is not a four of cups, but for whatever reason, I feel like this this is potential, this is opportunity, but then we have the death card, which comes in to snatch it away and bring it to an end. I'm, I'm honestly looking at this like you gave your person so many chances. Because they literally have the key to your heart, okay? And you forgave them a lot, okay? That's also what I'm getting from this. Um, you gave them many chances, many opportunities, okay? But I think you got to a point where you felt you needed to end it because it just wasn't consistent. There was something about it that you could that you couldn't rely upon. Um, something changed also with this death energy because with, you know, endings comes change and transformation, right? Um, some things end so other things can begin, all right? But what's crazy is I pulled this, this card before this one. If it was reversed, if it was the other way, I'd be like, okay, something ended so something new can begin. Like something went down here. But you have this here, which is better. Okay, so you have an opening, a new, a fresh start with your person after a time of change or difficulty. But I'm looking at it the other way around. There was an opportunity here. Okay, they had a chance with you with the ace. But that new door, I feel like you closed it in some way. All right, or they feel like the door has been closed on them with the death card. I feel like they want to reach out to you. They want to send you a message. Because technically they, you know, they know that you're their soulmate. I think they know that they've messed up in some way. They know that things and situations and people maybe have gotten in the way of your connection. But they can't deny that you still have the key to your heart, their heart. They're hoping that you open up your heart. They're hoping that you can get together again. Okay, that you would welcome them back in. Okay, that's why this, this letter here. Communication. They're trying to offer communication. I could also see it that way. They want to offer communication after this ending. After you cut them out or cut them off. Like they want to reach out to you, I think, with this letter. So lots, they want to communicate back and forth. So again, phone calls, emails, texts. But I'm also getting the vibe with the death card and this letter that you blocked the messages from coming through. Like they've tried to reach out with this Ace of Pentacles and this letter, but you blocked them somehow. That's why it's saying here, welcome, welcoming love. So they're hoping that you would welcome the love, but it feels, it feels like here you got tired of their crap and you blocked the connection or you ignored their their communication in some way it was it's almost like i'm hearing from this get your act together and then we can talk okay so maybe that's you know that's how you approach them in some way or you told them about themselves in some way 
but there's something that needs to be healed here there's something that needs to be fixed and worked on seriously because whatever it is has been totally sabotaging the connection creating confusion misunderstandings one after another okay i'm also feeling that your person loves you but they don't know how to fix it <laughs> they don't know how to fix what went wrong or they don't know how to prove to you that they're better or that they're with the death card they're changing okay death card you know is change transfer change and transformation maybe they want to try to tell you that they've changed that they fixed their kinks that they got rid of the meddling party that was in the way or that other thing okay because Sometimes a third party situation doesn't even have to be about a third person. It could be about a circumstance altogether. Okay, so let's get some messages directly from your person. Love letter, okay? There you go. They want to reach out. They want to send you a letter. They want to communicate. They're hoping that you haven't shut them out completely. All right. They're hoping that they still have the key to your heart and that you would welcome their love. Or they, I think somebody wants forgiveness for all their hangups and all the things that they messed up on before. Okay, I have two stuck together. Okay broken promises so that would explain the inconsistency of this card here you do one thing and you say another you say one thing and you do the complete opposite so they broke a lot of promises okay they weren't consistent They're sticking they broke a lot of promises and they know it they're spying on you though i feel like you i feel like you block them right but somehow, somehow, they still can see your page or your Facebook, your Instagram or whatever. They can still look at your social media in some way. Um, and even with being blocked, they still are looking at you or into you. Okay? Okay. Oh, could be a Cancer, so water sign. I have all the zodiacs in here too. So it could be a Cancer. That could be you, that could be them. Maybe that'll just provide more confirmation. Wishing on a star. And bear with me while I try to mess with the focus here. I see you shining. Oh, <laughs> look at the whoa. Okay, so they see you doing good, I think. And they're feeling some kind of way now. Yeah, they see you doing good because they're spying on you. Look, I see you shining. Yeah, shining like a star. Look at the two stars. They're wishing and hoping All right, let's get more. You're amazing, okay? They see you shining, all right? You're a star in their eyes, and they feel stuck. That's what I'm getting from this. They're feeling stuck. Part of that feeling of being stuck is because they know that they messed up. They broke a lot of promises, okay, is what I'm getting. Let's just grab one more. Oh, maybe two because they're, they're stuck. Okay, this is kind of cool. Wait a minute here. Wishing on a star. That reminds me of that Brenda K. Star song. And that just goes to show how old I am. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> look up that song by Brenda K. Star. The lyrics are about wishing on a star. Okay, and I'm not even going to try to sing it for you guys because my voice is uh, a little scratchy today. But you are cosmic. Okay? There's, and yeah, most soulmate connections are, they do feel cosmic. They feel other world, otherworldly. Okay? Okay. 
push and pull. All right, well, that would explain, um, that would explain the double energy, all right? So there was a lot of push and pull in the dynamic. Okay, possibly some mirroring in there as well. Okay, why do I want one more? Because this is fun. <laughs> Closed off. Okay, so remember I was saying that um, I feel like your person or may think that you have blocked them or some way in some way, and that's why they needed to spy on you. Okay, like they feel like your energy is closed off. They're spying on you on the low. They see you shining. They see you doing well. They're hoping and wishing. They see you as a star. Like they want you back in some way, or they want to fix it. They know that this. This connection is otherworldly and cosmic. They know it. They know they broke their promises too. They think you're freaking amazing. Okay. They're feeling stuck though. Because I don't think they know how to fix this. They want to try though. With that Ace of Pentacles. I think they want to try to come back and, and talk to you again. Alright. They're hoping that your heart is still open. Let's grab your final oracle before I forget. It says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay, wait a minute here. <laughs> there goes that mirroring dynamic and that push and pull, okay? So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of that going on with this duality card. And with the devil, okay? So I'm going to leave this here, number four. This is your reading. I hope it connects. These little messages here were so much fun to do. Um, I'm glad that they worked out. I'm very surprised that they did the way that they did. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Um, it's just confirmation. It's just confirmation of everything that was pulled and everything that was said. So I'm, I'm loving it. I think I'm going to include this more often. Um, I also have, I also made some uh, for timing aspects as well. Like there's a number five, um, you know, that kind of thing. So a month, right? So I did some of those as well. And I did some with yes, no, maybe as well for yes and no type questions. So I hope this connects for you. I hope you like it. Um, if you want to connect with me, uh, check me out on Instagram. Twitter. You can send me an email if you want to book a personal reading or look at my handmade jewelry. Check me out on Etsy. I'm available. Okay, so much love and blessings to everybody watching. Thanks so much for your love and support. I do appreciate all of you. Please like, share, and subscribe as well to support this channel. Sending much love to everybody watching. Bye-bye.